We've been talking about this all morning already. Hunger is growing throughout our community and less donations are forcing food banks to buy food at an extremely high price. CBS News Philadelphia's Wakisha Bailey is live from the Cathedral Kitchen in Camden with how they're handling this challenge and changing lives one plate at a time. Good morning, Wakisha. Yeah, good morning, Jim, Jan. You know, we've been talking about inflation and the cost of groceries going up and places like Cathedral Kitchen, well, they're stretched thin as well, just like a lot of our pockets are. Joining us this morning is Carrie Kitchen Santiago. So, Carrie, thanks for opening up your doors oh, no to problem. us this morning. But let's get right to it. First off, what is it that you guys all do? How do you service the community? So our tagline is we use food to change lives, and we do that by providing meals to the community open to anybody provide groceries, hygiene items, other services, help with getting ID, um, housing, and we also have a culinary training program where we um, provide training for folks to get jobs in the culinary field. We hire a lot of our graduates, and we also have a catering um, company that we use to um, employ our graduates and people from the Camden community, and um, it helps to fund what we do. Well, we see that your kitchen is quite busy right now. Um, you guys service the community every single day. Can you kind of walk us through some of those numbers, what they look like in comparison to last year? Sure. So we're expecting this year to provide um, probably about 200,000 meals. That's going to be about a 9% increase from last year. But overall, we've increased almost 60% since the pandemic in the number of meals we serve. We've tripled the number of groceries that we give out to the community in the last three years, and we've doubled the number of hygiene items. So in 2023, we gave out 80,000 items. Um, that's underwear, deodorant, toothbrushes, toothpaste, soap, and um, also feminine hygiene products. You know, just hearing those numbers and with the prices constantly going up, how is it that food banks are going to even last in the coming years if things don't change? Well, um, I know uh, other community kitchens and pantries and food banks around the state that I talk to are seeing the same kind of increase. And I mean, really, it's about raising more money, getting more donated um, food, which we rely on that as well, besides purchasing food. But it's difficult because um, even uh, the cost of, of food that we buy is going up. It's not just the food that our participants buy at the grocery store. So in 2023, the cost of food was 24% higher than before the pandemic. I mean, that's a significant increase. So a lot of it is just trying to find ways to raise more money, especially from individual donors. Okay, and as we're going into the holiday season, Thanksgiving season, what's one last thing that you can tell our viewers right now just to wrap this up? Um, I mean, I would just say look to volunteer and to, to donate um, to your local food bank or pantry or community kitchen, but also not just at Thanksgiving. During the summertime, outside of holiday time is when a lot of times we don't see as many volunteers and donations. All right, Carrie, thanks so much for being with us this morning. And as she said, giving should be all year round. Sending it back to you in the studio. That's a good point because a lot of awareness is brought at this time of year, but it is a 365 day a year issue. That's for sure. Thank you, Akisha. Appreciate it. When we're talking about the cost of food going up, you know, a lot of these food banks and pantries, they are really being spread thin. Mm -hmm. And joining us this morning is Carrie Kitchen Santiago. And Carrie, we have moved from the actual kitchen into your dining hall, which is an area that definitely fills up pretty fast. Can you talk about the level of service that you give people from last year in comparison to this year? Sure. So we've seen a big increase since the pandemic started in numbers. Um, we have seen about a 60% increase in the number of meals that we give out. And this year we expect to give out about 200,000 meals free to the public. Um, we've seen a tripling in the last three years in groceries we, we give out and a doubling in the amount of hygiene items. We give out hygiene items um, to folks like underwear, socks, toothbrushes, toothpaste. Yeah. You know, just for the regular person, groceries are expensive. How does that impact you all? So it adds to our cost for food. Um, we buy a lot of food for the for the meals and um, that's just gone up and we've had to try to raise more money to keep up with that cost, but it also affects our guests. Um, and we've seen an increase because they're trying to afford groceries and also um, rent, which has really gone up. You know, Carrie, when you and I were talking, you meant that you did say that you guys are fortunate to work with a lot of partners. Yes. Yeah, like a lot of farmers. As a matter of fact, we do have some pictures of some people carrying some really cute little birdies. <laughs> yeah, so um, Carversville Farm is in Bucks County and they all the food that they grow and it's organic 
gets um, donated to community kitchens like us, and so they donate maybe two hundred and fifty thousand to five hundred thousand dollars worth of food each year, yeah. and we uh, use that in our meals. And speaking of food, we see that you guys are also going to be giving out Thanksgiving dinners. Has that changed with the amount of food that you're going to be providing for the community this Thanksgiving? Um, it, it hasn't. We've done a good job keeping up with demand. Uh, for example, sometimes our meals are 750 people. Um, and uh, we'll be serving a traditional Thanksgiving meal, but on the Tuesday before Thanksgiving. Um, and we'll also be giving out Thanksgiving type foods in our market stand throughout the month. Yeah. Um, but Chef Nye could talk more about. Well, then let's get to Chef Nye. Chef Nye, thank you for being up with us. You said oh, that you're yeah. usually up this early, I am. right? I am. So what is on the meal for Thanksgiving? Oh, well, we're doing a roasted turkey. Um, we're doing a sweet potato, uh, a whipped sweet potato, collard greens, and we're also doing like probably a rice dish. But other, other than that, like we, we, we keep adding as we go. So right now, that's the base of it. So roasted yeah. Turkey. We're doing some nice uh, sweet potatoes that we have from Carversville. We also have some collard greens that we have from Carversville, and we'll probably do a rice dish. Um, and oh. then give them something sweet, of course. We have apple pie, <laughs> sweet potato pie. Who knows? Well, just keep on giving it. All right. Absolutely. Well, thank you so much for being with us. And as you guys heard, you know, it's not about giving just for Thanksgiving season, but it is something that can be done 365 days a year. And obviously, donations are needed. Sending it back to you in the studio. Thank you very much, Rakesha. Good stuff going yeah, on there. Great to hear about the partnerships that Cathedral Kitchen has produced as well. Thank you.